Hi and welcome to Bianca's Kitchen. Follow me on my journey through the world of vegan food. I always make my own coconut milk and you can too. It only takes a few minutes. So here's what you need. The richer version is similar to the full fat canned coconut milk the supermarkets carry. The leaner version is somewhere between full fat and light coconut milk. I use it for my baking. There will be recipes using that version. Today I'm making the richer version you see on the left. All info as usual you also can find in the info box below. In order to make the coconut milk, fill the desiccated coconut and the water into a high speed blender. Of course you're going to use the lid, this is just to visualize the blending process. So I blend two times, I blend for two minutes on highest speed, then I take a break for one minute to let the motor cool down a bit to avoid overheating, then I blend for two more minutes and then it's ready for straining. You need a big bowl, a strainer and a cheesecloth or one of those fine laundry nets, that's what I'm using today. Now close and twist your laundry net or a cheesecloth. Now press out as much liquid as possible. This is going to take a couple of minutes. There's way more liquid inside than it looks like. As I don't like to throw away food, I've been wondering what to do with the pulp that's going to remain for making this milk. So far I haven't bought coconut flour, but it reminds me of the pictures of coconut flour that I've seen on the internet. I guess all the fat goes into the milk and something like coconut flour remains. So I think I'm going to keep the pulp in the freezer and at some point I will try to bake something with it. When you're done with straining, you have a wonderful white coconut milk that you can use for Asian cooking, you can drink it pure, you can put it in your coffee. I keep it in the fridge for up to three days, but not more in order to avoid toxins. Sometimes I make a big batch and freeze what I don't use immediately. The milk freezes very well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next recipe. And if you want to try other plant milk options, click here for my homemade spelt milk recipe. Have a good day and thanks a lot for stopping by on my channel.